October 15th, 2020. We got Ponnell Paul here, and, <laughs> and we got Digger Dave, and Brittany, Paul's wife, will be along here directly. And we're just getting started, and uh, Paul's getting back into his hole here, and he's just kind of knocking in some of the top so he can get more room. And he's got some big roots to deal with there. And oh, yeah, they'll come out. I'm super excited to be back digging. Yeah. After the twins are born. Yeah. Well, congratulate Paul and Brittany. Yeah, the <laughs> twins are doing really good. Yay. They sleep most of the day and they're up most of the night. <laughs> but oh, we, they're being real good though. Well, we got to get them in some video real soon here. Yeah. All right. Boy, look at that. He's already hitting trash yeah, in there. I thought it was a Clorox bottle, but it's a Bimal corker. Yeah. Okay. I got to show it to you. This is some stuff that Paul and Brittany dug last time in here, but here was a piece that was laying in, out here to the side that we didn't even see. Anybody know what that is? You see the word bitters. It's square and amber. It's got a sunken panel. The side panels are flat. And I'll give you a hint. It's a big almost pyramid shaped bottle kind of obelisk big at the bottom tapering up to the shoulders we may talk a little later on what that is See if you can guess it you bottle bottle people out there the last word is bitter and it looks like a b and maybe an e hmm? <laughs> that's your hint that's all you're going to get it's a hand-blown bottle 1890s <laughs> Paul's going to pull a couple of them out today, hopefully. Oh, there's a big old bucket fell out of there. A couple. Oh, a couple little balls. Ooh, that watch that dust. Unembossed. Horlicks? Unembossed. I bet that's embossed around the shoulder. Yeah, Horlicks. it is. Yep. Horlicks, yeah. <laughs> not, not a great bottle. A little slick, but hey. 1912, 1915 stuff. Here's a, a metal crock. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, nothing in it. I was hoping there'd be something in there. Well, you know, a lot of people are talking about getting a metal detector, but I mean, there's so much metal and rust that how in the world would you find anything, you know, keepable? Yeah. With Look a metal detector. That. Literally, this whole pile is rust and metal. Yeah, I mean, the whole layer is. But, yeah. But I mean, maybe you can set it to where it only picks up like silver or gold or something. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, we probably miss a lot. We'll have to look into that. We keep talking about it, and we've got one. I just never bring it. Got to do that. So. All right. We just hope everybody will stay with us here today. We're going to do some good digging and yeah. see what we can find. Find some goodies. <laughs> yeah. And here I am, <clears throat> Digger Dave, digging in me and Shelly's hole. Shelly had to work today, so she couldn't be with us, unfortunately. So, hey, Shelly. <laughs> We'll dig some bottles for you, babe. Anyway, we just appreciate all of you for coming along on the adventure, and let's go see what's buried down in here. Man, I've been cleaning out a little bit, and I'm gonna get down in here and start throwing out some bottles here right away. So you hang with us, and we'll go back and forth over there to Paul and Brittany, and we'll see what we can find today. All right, back to Paul. He's getting down in there. Yeah. And getting down to the bottom. Yeah, I got down to the bottom. I was just trying to keep it clean like I would digging a privy, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of trash. I didn't hit much, but I hit a couple Larkin Company Buffalo bottles. Oh, yeah. Two different little kinds there. And then a, a Chapman and Smith with a, it's got a rolling pin pictured on it. Oh, I like it's kind of cool from Chicago. All through, all in hand blown. Yeah, and then a little amber salve jar. Oh, yeah. It's kind of fancy. I know it's amber a though. Medical salve. With a sunburst Everything on the else bar. was unembossed. You know, some whiskeys, ketchups, and of course a broken oh, script Coke. Look at that. It was a Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Which you know, oh, probably well, wasn't. Been nice though. Yeah. Well, maybe that's Nine. a sign there's something, some more down here. Yeah. All right. 
Well, it's looking good though. Yeah, it looks really good where I'm digging around here though. You can see in the bank there, there's a lot of rust. There's a couple of bottles, look like maybe even sticking out there. And looks pretty good. So. Yeah, I'm trying to set it up to where I can show some later of mine. Yeah, mining this. okay. Well, good. Well, I'm going to keep at it too. I just wanted to check on you here. And Brittany's doing some house cleaning up there and doing good. So. All right. Ready to hit some good balls. Yeah. <laughs> He's right on that old rock hard bottom. Yeah, it's really hard packed there. And you can see here it's only about five feet, maybe six feet at most to the bottom, would you say? Yeah, six I mean, right, right there is probably. Probably, five yeah. Foot. A little over. Well, you're six feet tall it might or more. Be so six feet over so here. it's about six feet to the bottom there. But then as you come up the hill here, you can't see it. You can't hardly tell. But this is actually a really pretty steep grade here. Where Paul and Brittany dug the other day up there, they didn't even get to the bottom. But Paul decided to come down here to the bottom and dig dig it systematically so oh <laughs> well look at that part of the label yeah i can't quite ta something tonic tonic yeah <laughs> no that's, name on that one but that's a pre-prohibition tonic bottle that's almost like a bitters <laughs> yeah i like that i know so we're starting down here and gonna dig this right on up the hill and um you see over there in them trees, between them two trees is where I was at the other day in Paul's old hole. And, uh, oh, I'm getting excited. I'm going to have to get back up there. And <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting ready to pull out a couple too, so. I think we're going to hit some goodies today. I believe you're right. <laughs> keep moving dirt. Yeah, boy, I'm getting excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to walk up the hill here with the camera, if I can. Yeah, watch out for the groundhog. Yeah, there is a little, whoop. I'm just about to fall down. There he, well, there's his hole. You know, that's what happened, that's that bitters bottle all go, Paul, come out of there. Sure did. Yeah, groundhog been scratching out some stuff. There's a, whoops, camera flipped around, sorry about that. There's a old ketchup. It's hand blown, paneled. I'll leave that there. That belongs to Mr. Groundhog. I'm going to let him keep that since it's just a slick ketchup. <laughs> but you can see his hole in there. I'm going to see if I can get the camera on there. There. You know, he's, you can't see him. He's not right there, I don't believe. But I don't want to make him mad. Oh, there's a bottle sticking out in there, though. Look at that. What is that? Oh, it's got the top chipped on, don't it? Let's put the camera on. Let's see if we can see anything else. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before we get to that spot, but anyhow. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna turn this off. And we're back up here to my hole now. Got a couple bottles way back in there. I hope the camera shows them, but <clears throat> wait, we're gonna we're gonna dig those out. Let's see what those are. There's a little medicine. Oh, it's embossed. Yay. Sloan's in and B liniment. Dr. Earl Sloan Boston. That's an old one. It's hand blown. Kind of a medium sized bottle. Pretty good size there. Yeah. That's a keeper. I'll show a couple here. A while ago, there was a. Uh, it says the Oakland Chemical Company dioxygen on that. That's a little hand blown bottle. Small size. Dioxygen. Yep. And a couple other little slicks. Let's see what that other one is in there. It's about ready to come out too. It's real hard packed stuff here, so it's not easy to get some of them out. Oh, there's two of them. I see two bottles there. This first one is a slick, an embossed drugstore bottle. In the turn of the century, 1910 era. That's what this other one is up in there. It's like another one of the same. Yep, another one. That's a little different. Another drugstore bottle though. Hand blown. These are all hand blown. Oh, we'll turn amethyst, so that's we save them always. Let's see what else is in there. I'm gonna 
switch over to another tool that is kind of handy for here, like a, a rake, potato fork, whatever you call them. Kind of nice when you can dig level areas, getting into the walls and stuff, they're real nice. You can really move a lot of the dirt, almost like a hoe. Pull on stuff, you can yank things out of there. And hit on stuff, huh? Don't want that too much. <laughs> Alright, well that's about right on bottom right there. It's real hard pack. You hear that? Real hard. There's some bricks and iron stuff there. But I'm trying to stay down there on that bottom and then work out from that. That's kind of the plan. So that's just what we showed Paul doing down there. You always want to dig a dump. You dig it right. You dig down to the bottom and then you go across. Try to fight off the impulse to dig into the walls too early. And uh, well, I'll show here, like in the hole itself. Apologize for my camera work here. But you can see, you know, there's there's buckets up in here, and there's something big iron thing in here. There's cans and stuff all in there. And uh, all you can see there's a well, there's a bottle sticking out in here, which I'm trying to resist digging because then it knocks in a bunch of dirt. So and I just got to clean it out. So anyway, I'm going to wait on that. In fact, there's a couple up in here. There's a Looks like a beer bottle or something there, but it'll be a while before I dig that one out. But anyway, we're going to get back down in there and uh, see what's going on. All right, just turned the camera off and um, hitting something pretty cool back in here. And that's sort of like the way it goes. If you want to find something interesting, just turn your camera off. Stop recording. Something will show up <laughs> usually right away. But... Oh well, that's the fun, the excitement of it, because you just don't know. But let me get back in here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just started unearthing this. And you can see right there at the end of the shovel, it looks like a, uh, a spittoon, maybe. Some kind of a pot. It's probably going to be broken, but I just wanted to show the thrill of discovery here. You know how it goes. But it looks like a, uh, a green and yellow brown, almost like a majolica art pottery uh, spittoon so let's see let's hope it's whole it's they're usually broke but we're gonna treat it like it's not so let's see about this you kind of got to dig around it there's a fruit jar right next to it there or something so I got to be careful there all right it's got a little movement to it so let's try to go around this side a little bit loosen it up just a wee bit more all right Okay, well, let's see here. All right. Deborah, Deborah Porch, you're going to have to pull this one out, all right? Wherever you're at, you need to get here now and pull this out, okay? <laughs> all right. I'm just kidding. All right. Let's go in here and get that thing. There. Oh, it's got the bottom out of it. <laughs> too bad. Oh, boy, that would have been pretty, too. Look at that. It was a planter, I believe. Yeah, there's the bottom. It's actually got the bottom and the top's gone. <laughs> but, boy, you could still make a flower planter out of that or something. That's still real pretty. It's got a brown bottom, as you can see. And uh, made out of pottery, stoneware. Brown into yellow into green. And that looks like it probably had a rim here. It's all, it's gone, but. All right, well, that's a, still a keeper, though. That's kind of interesting. But let's go back in and get that jar. See where it is. It's over here. So let's see if that'll show. This is bound to be some kind of an unknown cobalt blue jar. <laughs> there came out an old pickle bottle broken there. All right, let's see. Come on. You know, it's just stuck in some, some crusted stuff there. Try to go underneath it, but there's a big pan underneath it. So we just got to... Dig along the sides of it. Yeah, there's something else, maybe. I don't know. No, it might not be a jar. I think it's a little bit taller. There come a bottle popping out of there. What's that one? No, no name on that one. Thought it was one of them Larkins, like Paul got. He got two Larkin companies a while ago. It's a little hand-blown bottle, though. Yep, a little medicine or something. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, there's something else real pretty there. 
see if I can get some of these roots out of the way. See that? I don't know if you can see it. No, nah, probably not, but it's real pretty. It looks like blue granite ware. There's another bottle fell out. Hello. Oh, man, it's got no name on it. Another slick. Boy, oh, boy, I'm the man of the slicks. <laughs> I can find them. You start calling me slick. No longer Digger Dave, it's just slick. It's old slick beeler now. What they'll be calling me. Let's get this thing out of the way. There's a big piece of pottery there. I'm going to pull that out. That's, that's been in my way for a while. Boy, that was the bottom of a big old jug or crock. Like five gallons. That was big. Yeah, that's like a coffee pot there. I'm going to try to treat that again like as if it's in good shape. If we can salvage it. It'd be real pretty. So, Oh, there's just a bunch of iron stuff. So I'm going to have to go above that bottle there to get it out. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm bumping the camera. Let's see if that thing will come out. There it comes. Oh, it's an amber whiskey. Oh, no name on it either. Oh, another slick. Oh, boy. It is hand-blown, though. Hand-blown the mold and turn. Call that a paste mold or a turn mold bottle. No mold seams. Don't get all excited. It's not like early 1800s. It's 1890s at the oldest. Probably 1905, something like that. Let's set that one back up there. It's got some kind of goop in it. All right, now the coffee pot. Let's see if it'll come out here. Let's get some of that other rusty stuff. There's some shoes. Boy, they're just throwing away everything in here. Look at that. That's a child or a woman's shoe. Probably a woman's shoe. Yep, see there? That has been cool. All right. Just lots of neat stuff. I love it. <laughs> I miss Shelly. She's doing good at work. And anyway, let's get this old coffee pot out of here. If we, if we can. Without damaging it any. Here it comes. Alright. Oh, it's got the handle gone and a big chunk out of the side, but... It still might make a flower planter or something for somebody. We know a couple people that like those kind of things. So that's the older uh, enamel ware, old granite ware, we call it. The old marbled blue. Man, that would have been pretty, wouldn't it? Well, can't win them all. All right, a little bit more. Let's see if there's anything else back in there before we turn the camera off. Can't. I'm not real good at editing this stuff, and I really apologize to everybody be getting a better computer here and that's going to help me i think <laughs> make things a lot faster and i can do more stuff but uh, we appreciate your patience oh there's something up in there Let's see what that is that's something big there not rightly sure what that is let's see if i can show that can you see that thing maybe right back in there well it's kind of dark isn't it i'm not sure what it is it's Oh, it's a jug. I can see it now. Let me see if I can take the camera all the way down in here. No, I don't think I can. Let's see. Collapse that a little bit. It's awful dark, isn't it? Yeah. See, that's a jug. You see it sticking out like a brown jug. And then uh, it's about to come out. All right, I'm going to reach in there and try to pull that thing out of there. Here she comes. Oh, goody, yeah. A little two-tone. Let me get back here a little bit. I gotta get the camera back out of the hole. There she is. Old two-tone jug. How about that? Hop diggity and dog. <laughs> no name on it, but all right, we'll take it anyway. An applied handle. Actually got the bottom in it. Well good, that one's good holding. Sometimes they say like Western stoneware or something. This one doesn't. But... All right, man. We'll take it. All right, I'm going to have to clean some dirt out here, and I'll get back here right away. All right, I just hit a real nice jug, and I was real proud of myself, and I come down here, and Paul hit one even better. Yeah, I don't know if it's better, but it's got a wide mouth on it. Look at that. We call them molasses jugs. Big That's wide mouth. Is. Yep. Yeah, nothing on it, but... Oh. <laughs> big old... It's whole though, gallon. isn't it? 
Two gallon, two gallon I don't know. Yeah, white stoneware. That's a couple we hit there last time. Yeah, I got a. So you got There's yeah. some cool broken stuff. Oh. This was some kind of a whiskey or. Oh yeah. It's embossed on the bottom. SW Company, Chicago. Huh. It had a fancy neck, but the top's gone. Look at that, like a whiskey or something. Yeah. Then I hit some slicks and a few things. It was a little jar. It was a little good. jar, not nothing on it, well, a little half pint. Yeah. Oh, the and stopper. A stopper. That jar is cute. I like yeah, that. Yeah, it is. And a little a fruit jar lid. It might be a lightning lid. It does look like a lightning. Yep. Yeah, well, Cobalt. Blue, blue cobalt. Hey, now that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Another Alarkin Soap Company with the stopper. Yay! Kind of cool. Now I like that. Let me see that. Yeah. I'll take that one. You don't want that. <laughs> good. Look at that. Larkin Soap Company Buffalo. Yeah. That's there's sweet a, with a stopper. There's a pint size shape. pocket flask. Oh, I wish that would have had something yeah, it's on it. It's got a little chip on the lip. All right. And then a little sauce or ketchup kind of. Bulbous yeah. looking. Nothing That's on it. Hand blown. But I got a good looking spot. I don't know if you can see down in there. But yeah. Oh wow, look at that. It's a big bottle sticking out. There's a oh. bottle of beer. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, now if I can get out of your way here. Oh, I can... Yeah, that looks can good like right that. There? Yeah. That looks great. I'm not gonna zoom it in because when it gets cold like this, the zoom don't work real good or something. Oh, slick. I think so. It's so dirty. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> goop comes out. Court three piece. Yep. Whiskey. Nice old pre prohibition Ten. whiskey. Oh, oh. oh, that was a broken. Broken jar. Yeah. Oh, it comes something else now. Oh, it's a little scrap flask. Hey. Nothing on it, but oh, that's man. a little older, ain't it? It is. Yeah. Turn that's a century, maybe. 1890s, turn of the century, yeah. It's full of water. Strap side whiskey flask with a hand tooled double ring collar on it. By strap sides, we mean that little strap so you see on the side there. It's got on both sides. We call them strap side flasks. All right. I guess I'll pull out that beer. Yeah, I hope it's, it's got bugging. something on it. It's whole nothing oh, on it. nothing. Oh. Well, we're in Illinois. Yeah, that's typical Illinois for you. It's got, uh, w, F, and S. Milwaukee, I think. Yep. Yeah. William Franzen and Son Milwaukee glass mark yep. on it. That's probably 1890s, right yeah, at the turn of the century. Definitely, it's definitely some older stuff right here. I've noticed that. Boy, yeah. I don't have to go far. To find wow, color. look at that. He's... Oh, that was a little miniature. Oh, that was a miniature on. wine or something. Man, that could have been, yep, a whiskey. That could have been something oh. good. These bottles, when we pull them out of the hole here, they're wet. But once they dry, a lot of times they have that rainbow iridescence. We like that. But There's another one in the jars. There's a little jar. Sweet. I, like I wish those. they'd be little. Where's the lids for those things? There's got to be lids. Them take a glass lid and little jars. Those will turn amethyst too. Yes, sir. So, man, he's just square. Pulling them out one after another here. Yeah, it's aqua, but nothing on it. Oh, man. Boy, that's a good little rich zone though. Look at that. Look at them bottles coming out of there. I'm just gonna leave it roll here, man. Oh. <laughs> Another so broken one. Gone. See that rich, rusty stuff. Yeah. Well, it's fun. You just never know what's going to be down in there, do you? No. No broken tile, sewer tile. Yep. A lot of that kind of stuff in these dumps. Alright, let's see what falls in here. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, it's... That's a thick layer, man. It sure is. Oh, man, just unembossed druggist. At least the bugs are kind of going away now. Not getting too many mosquitoes. 
This wasn't a bad year for us, really, was it? No, not too bad. For skeeters, ticks and stuff, you'd think we'd have been caked with them, but we really haven't. I haven't had a tick on me yet from up in here. Oh. Ooh, a square amber. Uh-oh. Oh, Father John. Was it? Oh, <laughs> Looked like yeah. a bitter. Hey, let's save that panel. Somebody might be making, like, mosaics or something. Yeah, people's been wanting pieces. And you can see this was an old Father John's medicine from Lowell, Mass. But it's, it's you know, broken, obviously. But see if somebody's making, like, window uh -oh. panels or something. What Top's was that? Gone. Oh, no, another straight-sided Coke. Where was that one from? Decatur. Decatur. Oh. Yep, top's gone. Well, like I don't guys think I've are, got a whole one yet. <laughs> like a lot of guys are saying, making glasses out of them. You know, you can cut that off up in here and make a, make a little glass out of it or something. Pencil holder. We try to salvage stuff. Look well, two that. halves of beer. a beer. <laughs> yeah. Half a beer and half a beer. Drink half at a time there. Man, oh man, you're hitting this stuff there, though. Sure looks like you're gonna fool around and get a good coke. That's two of them you've hit now today that was broke. I know. You do, man. A shout out to Chuck Jackson, a friend of ours, Illinois Cokes. Yeah. Good Illinois Coke bottle collector. Dr. Keens. Is it? I think so. Oh, well, so, good. It's so compact on Yeah. It. Yep, Dr. Keens. Dr. Keens, hey. <laughs> See if I can clean it up just a little bit. Boy, that is got some mud and crud. Hey, that's an old one, Paul. Is it? This Rockwell? is Dr. King's new discovery for consumption. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's definitely 90s because they stopped putting consumption on there before 1906, before the Pure Food and Drug Act. Yeah, I apologize. I'm trying to clean some of the mud off so you can see it. But it's, it's definitely a hand-blown bottle, hand-finished. 1890s. Oh, and, uh, shoot. What was that one? This was a, a, a Crown Top Soda from Lincoln, Illinois. Oh, really? H.J. May. Lincoln? Oh. H.J. May. Now, that I'm, I don't know too much I about. I don't either. That. I haven't seen that one. Wow, that's pretty neat. Yep. Lincoln, Lincoln Bottling Works. H.J. May, Lincoln, Illinois. That was a hand... Oh, wow. I'm assuming it was a Crown Top, but it looked like it was hand-blown. Sure. Wow, that's too bad. But going back to our Dr. King's new discovery for consumption. Consumption was the term for tuberculosis back in the 1800s. Nowadays we call it tuberculosis, TB. But that was the term for consumption. That was from Chicago, Illinois. H.E. Buckle and Company put out electric bitters. and The later ones say Dr. King's new discovery for coughs and colds. So, well that's pretty interesting Paul you're definitely hitting a little bit older stuff mixed in there there was a milk bottle but that's a hand-blown one that's an old one it's all there, that's a hand was, finished top it was cracked. Wow look at that stuff I'll trade you holes <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer to trade holes Eddie and Eddie Is that? all right Kim in St. Louis yeah I like it when at least every other bottle is embossed yeah that's well that's nice pretty spot. good odds yeah Oh, man, You're racking them up, man. Pop's gone on that. Eddie, Eddie. Yeah, it's a beautiful October day. It's a little windy. But, man, once you get down the hole... Oh, what was that one? It's another Dr. King's, but it's got a hole oh, in it. Oh, for consumption? Or coughs and colds? Coughs and colds. Coughs and colds, okay. Yep, that was a little later one. Man, oh man. Oh, there's another broken Larkin. Yep. Larkins. Trying to have a control. Oh man, look at this. Oh, he's just hitting on. It's a oh, it's a big wow. Tile or a statue now base. that is cool. Oh, it's, it's, I hope that's whole because what on it earth? looks like flowers, but it's got rust on it. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's cool. I don't cool. know if that's a chimney top or what that is. It might be. Look at that. I think it's whole. It's got rust wow. here. Wow. It is. That is really cool. We'll have to clean that up. Yeah. But feel how heavy it is. Oh man, I can't hardly hold it with one hand. What if that went to a fire, wow, a mantle, or a fireplace, is, or something? That is cool, Paul. Well, I thought it was a big brick. Yeah. Well, that's what I hit. It's bricks and stuff. Chuck it out. Now that is interesting. I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm not either. It is. It's encrusted with rust, which we'll have to clean off. But that's cool. That is one of those oddity things that we love to find. It's yes. made out of. Thick red earthenware, real heavy. 
All right. Well, back to the bottles. Gosh, yep. man, that's wonderful. <laughs> I love stuff like that. There's jelly a, glass. Yeah. Jelly or dried beef or something. Yep. Wow. I'm peeling off this stuff on this thing here. It's rust is coming off of it, so that'll come right off of it. Wow, that's going to be really far out, man. There's a term for all of you youngsters. Far out. You young bugs. I that far one. out, man. You remember me because you grew up with me, didn't you? Yeah, well, back in the early 90s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you? All right. Far out, man. Sweet, dude. Gnarly. It's gnarly. It's gnarly to the max. <laughs> hey, there's a gnarly stopper stuck in a hot Oh, so yeah. Look bottle. at that. Well, we'll take the stopper. We'll that's take a, that. Thanks, Joe. Nice Hands stuff. coming out of nowhere to grab stoppers from Pommel Digging Paul. <laughs> Man, you are scoring here. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it looks like it's still. Oh, it's, it's no end in sight, going. is there? There's a big beer or something. Beer coming out. Oh, man, I'm. Nothing on nothing it. Nothing on it. That's crazy. Oh. All right, well, here comes Brittany. She's coming down to have a look. I should let her in here too. Yeah. Now that they're all gone, I'll let her in. Yeah, <laughs> we got all dug out. Well, all the balls are gone, but you arrived in time to see them anyway. <laughs> There's Brittany coming down the hill. Check things out. Check what our Paul's been finding. Wow. More jugs. Yeah, look at this thing. What do you think that is? Yeah. Oh, look at, so cool. isn't that awesome? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's really nice, a decorative piece yeah, off of something. Yeah, we're thinking it could be like a chimney top or a piece actually, of a mantle. I was thinking, well, yeah, something. mantle or actually because of its its it, brick. I'm thinking yeah. for the outside, outside post of a, like a brick wall for the old it Victorian could be houses. Like a yeah, fin, a, like a fin that could be. Yeah, yeah, for like the, the main corners. Post. Well, that's a good idea. I should have thought of that. Because it's made out of brick. You want to pull some out? There's a couple left. You got my gloves down here? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I do. Okay, give me my Well, gloves. look at that. Come prepared. Well, that's exciting, though. Look at that. I mean, some of that stuff underneath there was from last time, but a lot of that's from this time. And some gloves. We got the gloves. She's got the gloves. She's got the gloves, gloves, gloves. Okay, that's enough of that. He's remaking an ACDC that's a song. That's a new ACDC cover there, from Digger Dave. He's got the gloves. Does anybody know what the real name of that song is? Hmm. I bet there's a few people out there that would. Okay. Brittany's, get out of there. It's Brittany's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He's got bottles all down in there laid out. This is a little bit older too, Brittany. There's some older stuff in here. Yeah. Definitely hitting some 90s, 1890s. Pottery right here. He's hit two oh. straight-sided cokes, both I think broken. It's another jug. Yeah. All right, I'll let you down here. See that white molasses Jeez. jug? He's got a that wide one's mouth. Nice. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So far, we've just been mostly getting that one's those neat. Whiskies. And... Oh, they're all pretty different. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm getting chilly. I'm going to have to go get my jacket or something. Yeah, you guys might have to go warm up in that room. Yeah. You got the heat on. It's really oh, nice. Oh, yeah. It's really nice back there. She's got it cleaned Smells up. Smells good doing that. All Woo. right. Whoa. You all right? Yeah. It's not used to shovels. Yeah. Big shovels. I don't use big shovels. <laughs> I use little shovels. Well, that hole has definitely been really good. Oh, there is a jug. Yeah, I just there. seen it as I was. Oh, uh, okay. Right before I let her in there. All yeah. right. It's always a good sign when the handles fit oh, there. It sure it's is. Big. That's going to be, yeah. yeah it looks like it's down in that conglomeration. In, yeah, you're going to have to get stuff. that one later. It's stuck in that hard stuff, isn't it? Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to get a and stenciled of, one eventually. We are. Out of, out of 100 jugs, we, mm -hmm. we get one stenciled one. That's, That'd be nice. Can anybody do any worse ratio than that? You're definitely finding a lot of jugs. It'd be nice to get something with a pattern. Yeah. Anything. At least we're hitting them though. Hole. Oh, that's so many times I've been digging. Well, we know Paul from the way it goes. A lot of times yeah. you dig and you don't find any holes. First dump I've been to where they're actually holes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, olive that's, oil. It's an olive oil. How did you know that? See, Because I'm good. obsessed with sauces. She's good at that one. That is a good one. All right, sure is. It's a nice aqua. Look at that belled out bottom. Yeah. Is that Pono? No. <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> well, that's, that's definitely, oh, what's that? Yeah. That's definitely 1890s turn of the century. Those are so cute. That, yeah, you can that is. That's a little, oh. oh, okay. that's some kind of a little, like a mineral water bottle or something. Kind of neat. Oh, this is so trashy. And Crown Tops, they patented it, and William Painter patented the Crown Top in 1892. And uh, there was some glass houses making those, I mean, like the next year, I think, 1893, oh, yeah, 94. Some sodas that are hand blown. Or yeah. With a crown top, almost, a, almost applied. Crown right. Top. <clears throat> and they're still using them, you know, later, but they. Uh, pretty sure I see a pottery bowl that's like cracked. Oh. Right now. Yep. Well, you can dig some of that where your head Yeah, you can just dig some left. of that loose stuff there. There might there might be something up in there. Ooh, you all right? <laughs> They'll fall Dry in you it. Just yeah. Wait. They'll fall right out. They'll just fall out, let nature do its tricks. It'll come out in the wash. It'll all come out in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember that guy Paul that we used to come up in Illinois and we'd go digging with him and he was like a real hippie I mean a genuine hippie and he said well I don't prefer to dig I just prefer to let mother nature do the work oh, yeah. and he would walk up these creeks and they'd be washing stuff what's that is that uh, embossed it's so little it's cute oh well, that's kind of nice normally I'm used to seeing the yeah, big ones yeah like the olives Whoa. or cherries or something it's hand blown Hello. little hand blown bottle I think your hole has a caving problem wow it's all loose stuff isn't it Oh, look out. Here it comes. <laughs> now you did it. See, I set it up See, for good, Phil, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's caved in on now. Oh, broken fruit jars. Pottery. Oh, Paul got all the bottles. Now it's... <laughs> something oh. tells me there may be a few more left in there. Well, there's some stuck in... Ooh, what's... Oh, that's broken. This is not... Uh-oh. Here comes that tile. That big tile's getting ready to fall. Yeah. Stand up. Oh, it wasn't that Oh, big. yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, it's embossed. Is Here. it? Got one. Hey, she got an embossing. See, you just need a... That hole doesn't like me. Oh, what is that one? Oh, a Western it's Mineral gorgeous. Water. Yeah. Nothing comes out. An amber one it's, from St. Louis? Yep. Yep, it's a hand-blown crown top. Oh, cool. Western Mineral Water Company, St. Louis. Are All right. Are like aqua or clear? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. See if we can clean that off a little bit. I'm working with one hand here. All right, Brittany, that was good. Yeah, that's an older hand-blown hand crown. Sure is. Ooh. Some interesting stuff. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, I just you want can't to look break at this away. Other one, I this know. This is fake uh, Yeah. Oh, Oops, a little jar. Whoop. That's cool. <laughs> oh, man, this is just so fun, though. Look at all that stuff already. Ooh. Wow. That looks like a lamp. Really? That's interesting. What is that? Is that a shoe? Uh oh, oh more coming in and boy, it is just peeling off. That's brass, yeah. brass or copper. You're right. I think that was off is that a lamp. A big burner. It, yeah. Piece to a piece to something. Look at that. Down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A little lacy work around it. That's worth keeping. I think your whole your whole kind of starting to wow coming apart. I'm gonna have to go up there and get warmed up. Get down in my hole. Oh, there's nice broken stuff in here. Oh man, this is just fun. Okay. All right. Oh, well, that's neat. It's stuck in a big chunk of rust, isn't it? Yeah, broken bottle piece. All right, a couple more I just hit here. It was a little Terre Haute Brewing Company bottle from Terre Haute, Indiana. Hand blown beer bottle and some more slicks, druggists. Uh, Fletcher's Castoria. You got a little ink bottle there. It's kind of cute. That'll turn amethyst. Always nice. And working on, got a little cluster here. I'll show here. I'm all getting the camera set up here. But you can see right in here, there's an old uh, battery. Let me get the, there, that's a little better. An old battery from 
from the old telephone. You see that? There's a lot of them in this dump. It's just full of them. The old dry cell battery. Alright. But down in here, there's about three or four bottles showing. It's like a good looking little cluster. So let's see if we can get them together. There's one right there. It looks like an amber slick. It is a little amber slick. And bloom. Little mosquitoes there. Okay, let me set that one up here. There's another one right here. Let's see what that one is. Can get it out of here. There it comes. Ketchup. A little panel ketchup. Oh, I can still see some of the label on it. I can't quite make it out. My eyes aren't focusing on it. But it's a nice old hand blown multi sided ketchup bottle. Kind of got sloping shoulders. Alright, and then there's one right here. I think I'll pull that out. My head. Whoops. I just moved the camera. There's not a whole lot of room here. I apologize. Let's pull that one out. I go maybe a whiskey. Yep, that's a whiskey bottle. Ooh, it's got something nasty in it. Look at it. See that around there? It's like an oily stuff in the water. Do not pour that stuff out in your hole. Still got the cork stopper in there, but. Word to the wise, do not dump this kind of stuff out in the hole. <laughs> I repeat, see the floaters? A little oil up in the top. That's never good. That never has a happy ending when you pour that out and almost always stink worse than you think it, it should. <laughs> All right. Boy, that's a good little pocket right there. There's a, oh, there's a twist neck bottle broke. That would have been cool. Look at that. Like a whiskey or something. That spiral ring net. There's another bottle right here sticking out. Let's see. We can dig out some of the rest. There was something. Like that. There's a little vial. It's a Murine Eye Remedy. All right. One of the first Murine Eye Remedy bottles. That's hand blown from Chicago. See, it has a hand finished top on there. Square ring collar. Comes with my little pet mosquito. I'm gonna check on me again. I'm doing all right, buddy. It's all right. Okay, let's see if there's anything else on there. One neck sticking out. There's a lid. A milk glass lid. Yeah, we'll take that. It's got the little groove across it. Probably dated on the inside there. I don't know, 1901 or 1898 or something. Okay, let's see if that'll come out now. I believe that one's gonna come out of there. There it comes. Oh, it's broke. Big quart whiskey, no name. Okay, I'm gonna set that one back here. All right, well that might be it for our little spot for right now. Some bricks there. I'm gonna go down and check on Paul right away. Oh, there's another bottle maybe. Is that a bottle there? No, that's where that one came out. It's up against some rust there. So. Well, here's something back in there. I can't see it, but I can hear it. Let's see if we can extract it. Like a dentist extracting teeth, huh? Knock in some of this. Let me see a little bit. There's an old granite ware cup. And it's beat up, but might be able to be salvaged. <clears throat> see that? Old green granite ware. Yeah, let's save that. Let's see if we can make something of that. Oh boy, it's just fun. There's something there. Big. Sound like glass or clunk there. Hear that? I'm gonna have to get in there with a hand digger or something though. I can't see real good, so. Yeah, I can see a bottom sticking out. I think there's two bottles there. That round one's coming out. It's broke. Comes up. Garrett wine. I guess I'm not sure what it is. I might have to pull that one out by hand. Oh, and it's broken too. And it was a slick. Yep, hand blown like a beer, quart beer or soda. All right, I'm gonna have to clean some out now. All right, back to over to Paul's hole here. He's kind of gotten some stuff shoveled out. He just pulled out a little, what is that, a mini whiskey? Yeah, nothing on it, but a miniature whiskey. Oh. Big 
tall food bottle pickle or something. Yep. Well, there's a lot of food bottles in there. There's this amber. Look at this. It's got a big fancy panel. Oh, with nothing on it. What a shame. That could have been a druggist or something. Yeah. Look at that. A little bit double circle. Oh, this one was embossed. It's a James P. Smith. Okay. New York, Chicago. Yeah. It's got a threaded top with a sheared or a Amber. ground lip. Yeah. Pretty neat. That's a nice old food bottle. Yep, there's yeah, some he's got other some ones other sticking out down there. Mother looks like a big H.J. Hines pickle bottle. Yep. Several things there, but yeah, he's working on a couple there. I see. That's awesome, man. Well, we're taking turns digging jugs. I dug one, came over here, watched Paul dig one, and then I came back and dug another one, and now he's working on one. So we're. The day of the jugs here. Yeah. That one's yeah, stuck in there good. pretty good. Isn't it's it? usually a good sign. Yeah. It's still real trashy, isn't it? Yep. Cool. Square thing. Huh. It's got the lid. Uh -huh. Nothing it's on it. Kind of a little. Ain't that a shame? It's got a lid, though, don't it? Yep. A little cosmetic jar. Face powder or something. Yeah. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm going to have to <clears throat> go back and get me something to eat. Boy, wouldn't that be nice if that's got something on it? I know. Stencil. I already oh, never do. Well, it's stuck right down in that hard yeah, stuff, isn't it? metal right there. Boy, that's just how mine is. It's just encrusted metal and hard pack stuff. Nope. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while to get those things out of there. They're stuck there. It's amazing how many intact jugs they threw in here though. Oh, slick. Yeah. I was saying a while ago, I think my name's gonna change from Digger Dave to Slick. Slick Beeler. Dig so many slicks. All right, here comes a jug. Is it whole? Oh, it is yep. whole. Yay. Nothing on it, but it's... Oh, man. Another whole one. Yep. Well, that's good. It's just white. It's got a little... Plain white one. ...on the handle, but... All right. Oh, boy, that's got stuff in it, too, yeah. though. <clears throat> All right. Well, he's working on a couple more things down in there. Just a really good trashy hole. <laughs> Alright, well, we're just taking turns finding jugs. Now I guess it's back to my turn again, so. <laughs> I don't have any working on at the moment. Look was on. Hey, look at there. Yep. Hand, hand me that. I one. wish they'd come in green or cold. Yeah. Oh. You know, I haven't actually been finding many of those here in this dump. That's a nice one. Oh, there was a one of the candy lids. Oh yeah, that's probably worth keeping, that's, even with a big chunk a out of it. But yeah, that'll still fit yep, on. Yep, it sure is. Candy that's, jar, won't it? That's one of them threaded, threaded glass top candy jars that have a bale handle on it, anchors into them sides. It's got both the anchor things, just got a big chunk out of it, but it could still be better than nothing. Put that on there, but. Anyway, the liquid ozone, the liquid ozone company, Chicago, big size one, and uh, liquid ozone <laughs> sounds like something that people would use today. Hand blown bottle. All right. Oh. Peoria. Slick. Oh, it just says Peoria on it. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's a, like a drugstore bottle. Just got Peoria. See it oh, right now here in the bay. You getting another jug? It's a little one. Oh, it's got a hole in the bottom. Oh, no. Dang, a little tiny hole, hole in the bottom. bottom. That's not bad, though. Yeah, it still displays Yeah, nice. it displays good, and you can just patch that. A little brown jug. Yeah, that's probably why they threw it away. Well, look at that. Oh, boy. Now you've taken it. All right, a, it's a race. It's the race is on. Got, you've taken the lead. Three now? Yeah, Paul's got three good ones, and I got two, so. 
All right, I gotta get back to work now. This is getting serious.